what is going on, Jewel Gang? Y'all, it's hot out here. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Saturday. I should still be in the bed. At least watching TV until I decide to get up. But I had to bring our car out here to get a ceramic coat. If Shane has a car event tomorrow. Um, the guy just finished up on his burgundy car. It, it looked good, too. He did a nice job on that burgundy charger. That is clean. And that's the same results we're expecting for that car. Look how clean that car is. Hey, y'all, the sun is not being kind to me. California sun is a different type of sun. And I'm standing out here and there is no shade. I'm about to go in this Target because I'm hungry. I'm waiting for my daughter. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all after I eat or get some shade. Whatever comes first. Y'all look who finally show up. And look how close Starbucks is. Right here. You could have walked across this. Mark, you annoying. Starbucks is literally right here. My ribs, y'all, is, is, is She didn't like, even have to cross the street. All she had to do was get on the sidewalk. I'm hungry. I was too weak to walk. <laughs> really act like you had far to go. I didn't know. I thought it was down the street. Mom. You said down the street. No, I didn't. I said the Starbucks is right there. There's not one in Target. I'm so hungry, y'all. I was so weak. I Let's couldn't even walk. Guys. So I'm back at the house. Why I discovered after getting a car detail that somebody took their time out their busy day or they no lives having day to come key up our shit is right here and what it did was they keyed the gloss portion of the wrap and the guy did as much as he could to get the um key marks out you might can still see let me see if I can angle the camera up. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I've been going through the camera and it does show events here like it's 757 but I think that was us getting in the car on the 8th but then it shows some events here too. And that's like at midnight. So these events, these two events right here are at midnight. And you can hear what a person is deciding to key the car. But I don't know if the camera caught them. So I was trying to look through the footage to see if the camera caught them. Yeah, that's terrible. That's, that's just terrible. We always park on this level in this area. Which you might need to consider parking further towards the entrance of the building. Because... They keyed it on the driver's side. Like, that's ridiculous. Why would you even think to come and destroy somebody's shit because you jealous or you envious? Like, what that car do to you? If you don't like us, address us. And the thing about it is you can't just repair that small section of a wrap. That whole panel where that wrap is will have to be removed. That's ridiculous that somebody would decide, you know what? I don't like them. So I'm gonna key their car. I live in the hood. I live in the ghetto. It's ridiculous. All right, let me head in this house. My daughter's waiting for me because we're gonna head down to the outlet by the Tijuana border. What's up, Jewel Gang? So we went to the outlet. My daughter found a really cute pair of shoes. Let me, I'm gonna show y'all her shoes. Hold on. She found a really nice pair of shoes. I couldn't find them in my size. But look, aren't these nice? So she found those. I found it like an olive green pair because I don't have any green sneakers. Oh, well, I can't reach my bag, but I'll show y'all. I made it home. Y'all, I'm so glad to be home. I've been gone since like nine this morning. But anyway, I'm home. I wanted to show y'all the shoes that I got from the outlet. I showed y'all my daughters. Look at look at these. What y'all think? At first I was kind of iffy on them. 
But this is that shoe you can almost do it, you can do a lot with. So let me tell y'all, if it wasn't for Shane and my daughter, I wouldn't have no sneaker game at all. Cause I just I don't wear sneakers. Y'all, I'm so bad with my sneakers. These are my workout shoes. Look how dirty they are. These are my workout shoes. I actually have another pair of workout shoes. So these are kind of dirty too. But those are my favorites. And I just, I have like a couple of pair of Michael Kors sneakers. I just don't keep my sneakers, I guess, in pristine condition like I should. But again, I'm not a sneaker person. Now ask me about my heels. Ask me the care that I take of my heels. Now those, that's di a different story. But I'm gonna have to start taking care of my sneakers because um, I really don't have anywhere to wear heels to. And not anymore. Anyway, y'all, I'm so grateful to be home. I'm about to relax because I've been gone since 9 o'clock this morning. It is now 4.44 in the afternoon. I'm about to relax. I'm tired. I'm about to put all these sneakers up. I actually said I was going to clean my sneakers because, like I said, I said, I'll never clean my sneakers. I don't take care of my sneakers. So I'm about to pull a bunch of my sneakers out and pull this cleaning kit out and clean my sneakers. I'm going to do my toes. The lighting is terrible. I'm going to do my toes because I need to do those. And <clears throat> I'm not going to do nothing else today. What's up, guys? So I've been sitting here relaxing for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. Y'all just, just got into my own zone and went into a zen mode and... Then I picked up my laptop and decided to check in on a certain content creator, seeing if she gave any updates on the status of her relationship with her husband because um, the last vlog, if y'all remember, and I'm talking about It's Justine's World, someone said that she was being abused in regards to her husband. So I said, well, let me see if she's giving any updates on that. And I want y'all to hear this now this is not an update in regards to her husband and the situation be between her and her husband but i want y'all to hear what she has to say about a situation where she was doing a vlog with her daughter and she made a statement saying that she represented all women i want y'all to hear her explanation of that statement hold on let's go with me and my daughter Make sure oh, I'm not gonna put the camera on on her. I just want y'all to hear what she has to say. Um, I said I'm a representation of all, all women, and I'm not talking about the perfect women because a lot of y'all are seem to be very perfect. Um, I'm a representation of the the women that's not perfect. That's what I was trying to say. Um that don't get it all together, that don't get it right, um, that does make mistakes, uh, still try to figure out life, even though I'm 40 some years old. Um, I'm not perfect, I don't try to be perfect, and I'm, I'm just living, and a lot of people sit back and judge, and I'm a rep representation of those women, okay? Not you bitches that's perfect. This is why I wanted y'all to hear that. I don't understand why she had to go in attack mode. First of all, none of us are perfect. Some of us are positioned better than others. That's all it is, positioning. But none of us are better than the next. Let me just say that. None of us are perfect. We are all striving to be a better version of who we are. What I feel her problem is, she has this never-ending cycle of trying to fix things in her life that she's fixed at one point in time. And as she's trying to fix that again, 2 plus 2 is always going to be 4. I don't watch her on purpose. I did look in this time to see if she gave any update because, like I said last video, she doesn't deserve to be abused. Not a woman or a man who is in an abusive relationship um, deserves that. And... If you are 
in a situation where somebody is physically, emotionally, or mentally abusing you, I hope and pray that you find the strength to get out of that situation. But back to her. That's the only reason that I peeked in on it. But back to what she was saying. I just, instead of attacking her subscribers, because I guarantee you some of those who gave her feedback, pushed back on that statement, and backlash. We're in her subscriber count. I don't think she should have took the microaggressive approach to it. She should have just said, you know what? Let me just start by apologizing, saying that I represent all women because I know I don't. I'm still striving to be the better version of me. And that's what I was talking about. Women who are still trying to figure stuff out, even in a later age. Let me just give clarification. I don't watch Justine because when I did that reaction video of her and her and her daughter sat on a live and I listened to them. I was, I was in the skybox listening and I was jealous because she had a big butt. I was jealous because she had long hair. I was jealous because she had a $30,000 um, ring. But you got a $30,000 ring, but you and your husband live in two separate, separate states. But I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous of that. So these are the things that said, you know what, don't, you, you can't, you, don't spar with her. Because it's all aesthetics with her. It's all aesthetics. You, she's not going to be able to spar with you. Because see, I could trigger her. And that's not my intent. Now we could have had a, because everybody was like, y'all should have a conversation. As two women, y'all should have a conversation. You cannot have a conversation. Let me just give y'all some insight. If you're in a disagreement with someone and the first thing they start talking about is your looks, your weight, your clothes, you're not going to be able to argue with that person because that's like they're arguing aesthetically. So what they're doing, they're trying to trigger you. Her life in a, is in a cycle because of her choices. She made a choice to say she represented all women, not understanding the impact. She made that choice. And then when she got the backlash, the feedback, and the pushback, she chose to go on attack. Yeah. That's why I don't watch her. But um, I'm going to end this here, y'all. I'm not going to be looking in on her because I'm not invested at all. All right, y'all. I'm just going to end this here. I'm about to crack open a bottle of wine, sit on my balcony and do my toes because I'm home alone and I can enjoy the peace and quiet. That I will talk to you guys later. Till next time. We're keeping up with Des. Remember to be organically, genuinely, and uniquely you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.